These are some frequently asked questions regarding the economic impact analysis that's done by state agencies under the California Administrative Procedure Act, the APA. So first, does an executive branch rulemaking agency uh, have to complete an economic analysis? Yes, all regulations are required to have an analysis of the potential economic impact of that regulation. And this is pursuant to government code section 11346.3. So what is required for this analysis? A state entity proposing to adopt, amend, or repeal any regulation is required to assess the potential for adverse economic impact on California business enterprises and individuals. So what must rulemaking agencies try to avoid? These rulemaking entities in California state government are required to avoid the imposition of unnecessary or unreasonable regulations or reporting, record keeping, or compliance requirements. What must the rulemaking agency consider and when must they do so? The state entity prior to submitting its proposed regulatory action to the Office of Administrative Law to begin the formal rulemaking process, that is to be a part of the initial statement of reasons, the agency must contain, uh, consider the agency's um, uh, proposed impact on businesses with consideration of industries affected, including the ability of California businesses to compete with other businesses in the other 49 states. Also, the state agency must even consider information that is supplied by interested parties. What does this economic assessment include? The state executive branch agency is required to assess whether and to what extent the proposed regulation will affect, one, the creation or elimination of jobs within this state, two, the creation of new businesses or the elimination of existing businesses within this state, three, the expansion of businesses currently doing business within the state, and four, the benefits of the regulation to the health and welfare of California's residents, its worker safety, and the state's environment. What are the three phases of the economic analysis that's completed? Well, under the APA, an economic impact assessment of a proposed regulation has three separate phases. First, the executive branch agency makes an initial provisional determination of whether the proposed rule will have a significant adverse economic impact on businesses. Second, during the public comment period, affected parties may comment on the agency's initial determination and interested parties can supply additional information that's relevant to the issue. And third, when the agency issues its final decision and the final statement of reasons called the FSOR by its acronym, the agency is required to respond to the public comments and either change its proposal in response to those comments or explain why it has not made any changes to the regulation. And finally, what happens if the agency determines that there's an adverse business impact from its regulation? Well, a regulation is not necessarily invalid under the APA, even if it has a significant adverse economic impact on business. The requirement is for the agency to assess it.